Welcome back, Bayside. They're taking school spirit. The fun just getting started. To the max. This is going to be awesome. Saved by the Bell. New season streaming now. Let's do this, baby. Only on Peacock. Hey. Here's what's trending today. Trending. Jesse and Amanda with Gordo. What? Trending. Here's what's trending today. Good morning, 6 o'clock. I'm Amanda Lee with your top three trenders. <laughs> So devastating and two people remain missing. This was as of yesterday after that huge Colorado wildfire that broke out last Thursday, destroying nearly a thousand homes and other buildings over at least a 9.4 square mile area. This is between Denver and Boulder. One other person who had been missing, thankfully, was found alive, officials said yesterday. While well, searchers continue to look for the other two, investigators still trying to determine what the cause of the wildfire was. <laughs> And there was a lot of stuff that went viral over the weekend. This one, in case you missed it, was Andy Cohen on New Year's Eve. He went on a rant during CNN's live coverage with Anderson Cooper. Uh, I think it's safe to say, not a big fan of the mayor. No, this is <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> and uh, this whole show was such a train wreck. Have you seen the videos? I don't know why they keep putting these it, guys every on year, TV. Yeah, every why year. Why do they is. keep putting these Maybe guys on TV? Maybe because it is so many low lights. I don't know. And they just know that people are watching because sometimes you like a good train wreck. Yeah. Right. I mean, <laughs> like you just, can't stop but watching. But it's just so bad. I mean, it's like <laughs> Anderson Cooper trying to do a shot of tequila. Everything They're all about drunk this. It's stupid. They're, it's not even entertaining. Was no. uncomfortable. And also on a. Okay, on a news station where it's like, shouldn't you just be a little credible? Like, and then you're going off of this. Oh, that ship sailed a long I, time ago. That's why I paused to say that one on the T for yeah. Jesse. I know, it totally Are you was. Kidding me? But you know what I'm saying? It's like you could see on an NBC special, or you yeah. expect it from a Miley and Pete Davidson, like, but like an uh, e, e yeah, network. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's but just it's it. Like, you with a with, even with a Pete Davidson or a Miley, or you don't even get that. That is I also mean, this true. This is just like. Ridiculous. It's, do it's, you have the audio for this? I do. Yeah. Listen. Let me tell you something. Oh, please. Tell us something, Andy. Watching Mayor de Blasio. Don't go on a rant. Do his. Don't go on a rant. Victory lap dance. Don't, 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 don't. After four years <laughs> of the, the crappiest you want to start term the new year. as the mayor of New York. The That's only thing the that year. Democrats and Republicans can That's agree how, on I mean, is, is what how, a horrible mayor he has he, been. Wow. So sayonara, sucker. Wow. 2022. Oh, I mean, it's a yeah. new year. And then he goes on and he starts to rip on Ryan Seacrest. Oh, really? Because they looked across. The, he goes, you can see the Ryan Seacrest party and all the stuff going on. <laughs> okay. Which is undoubtedly. The it's biggest better. batter, yeah. of yeah. course it is. <laughs> he goes, look at those losers over there, Seacrest. Blah, blah, blah. And also, <laughs> when you watch the video from this, we'll post it at Big987.com. I thought and this was post like... It? I think so. Because they were dropping bombs all uh, over though, the place. This, was, this, this one is clear, yeah, so you're one, good. Okay. Right. But <laughs> also, I thought it was like... Something from behind the scenes, like a producer or somebody had dropped. It didn't even look like that was live TV. That's how bad the coverage was. Like, it was yeah. so bad. <laughs> yeah. Anderson <laughs> Cooper's not even looking at the camera. Yeah, no, I mean, <laughs> you, it's like the goof troops. I don't yeah. even know. It was so weird. It's like a bad Saturday Night Live skit. Kind of, right. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of bad Speaking. Saturday Night Live, get, uh, let's get Mike high. I know, and things going viral. Uh, wide receiver Antonio Brown walked off the field late into the third quarter against uh, the Je- or the Buccaneers Jets game yesterday, and it was a bizarre incident. He's a bizarre guy. Uh, they were behind. It was 24-10. Buccaneers teammate Mike Evans was trying to calm down Antonio Brown. Apparently, he got really frustrated. He just started taking off his shirt, everything. He threw it into the crowd, walked in, and he... Into the tunnel, but and he took was off gone because they the coach uh, tried to get him to go in twice, and he wouldn't. For the whatever reports yeah, initially were that he got benched, but that didn't happen. I don't know about, I, yeah, but he, I know they tried to get him to go in twice, and this is according to this is according know, the to the head stuff. coach. Yeah, so he took his helmet off, chucked that. Then he took his uh, jersey and shoulder pads off, chucked them on the ground, and then whatever that was in the ends, he started walking off, took his shirt off, threw it up into the, uh, the crowd. Started jumping up and down in the end zone. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, pumped the crowd up. Yeah. The security <laughs> security didn't really re- even realize he was a player and they're like trying to usher him like, what, what crazy dude, what? Yeah. Yeah, it was very, very bizarre. We'll also post that video at Big987.com. Uh, one guy who's trying to give him a little bit of empathy is Tom Brady. He said everybody should do what they can to help him in the ways that he really needs it. Oh, stop it. That's... I think everyone should be very compassionate and empathetic towards some of the very difficult things that are happening. Because there has been a lot of talk about him with career, mental illness and things. But His whole career has been horrible. It's He's, just... I mean... 
Uh, what a waste of talent. He, by the yeah. way, uh, mm. is no longer with the Buccaneers. Yeah, <laughs> no. they, uh... But Tom made that statement because Tom is the one who pled the case to get him there. Because mm-hmm. they know he they need that help. So he's got to cover his butt. So, but the coach is like, yeah, he's uh, stop he's, asking uh, me. Not he's not part here. of the team anymore. Well, they Moving can't officially on. cut him until today. But yeah. that's gonna yeah, happen. Right. Yeah. That ship has sailed. But there were some fun memes flying. Oh my oh, yeah. so god! Talk about the I got in on that too right away. Yeah. I'm like, ah. The best memes already of 2021 yeah, right. or Absolutely. 2022, I guess. 2022. I should say. Happy New Year, everybody! By the way, yeah. yeah. And the weather not going to be terrible. Actually, waking up above zero today. Man, maybe need a thin coat. I'm kidding. High of 15 today. We are going to see some sunshine, and that actually is going to feel fantastic. We do get a little bit more snow and some breeze through the middle of the week. We dip down to uh, below zero again towards the end of the week. But then next week, we're bumping back up well above zero. Yeah, well into the 20s. <laughs> it's a roller coaster. Oh, yeah. oh, it's nice. And when it gets into the 20s, it's great because then you can enjoy. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. if you're into winter stuff, you can enjoy that. Sure. Yeah. You, you know, like anything point. outdoor. Yeah. That's not in your car running <laughs> yeah. from it. <You're> right. <laughs> you don't have to leave your car running the whole time you're somewhere. <laughs> no kidding. It'll be fun. All right, listen. So Gardo's back from vacation. Uh, and, and what uh, happened? Who's up? Yeah, uh, Pat uh, is back top. from vacation. Yes, I am. Hey. Uh, after uh, Pat was stuck, there was some shootings. Oh, man. And some things. We'll get to that a little bit later. <laughs> man, dude. Relatively yeah. calm, though, for you, Gordo? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Nothing like that. Yeah. Luck <laughs> you. Nope. All right. All right. Uh, but we've got Amanda on top one to nothing. Oh. Big on the score. It was really back and forth last week with Woody. Okay. Mm. Zero, zero. Oh, yeah. a lot. Yeah. Well, we'll give you a chance right. to play and win. Who's smarter in four minutes? Morning show, morning show, morning show. Wake up. Comments on the show? It's awesome. Click the music that I like. Text us at 701-280-1987. 898.7. What's up, Erica? Good morning, guys. Hey. How's it going? Hey. Good morning, Erica. Happy New yes. Year. Yeah. Happy New Year to you. You are our first. New Year. Go. go. Uh, what? We Love lost the you. One more time? Go, Pat, go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no wonder Boo. you cut out. <laughs> Shouldn't have asked. Uh, we are live on Facebook. Good morning to Melissa, Brian, and I'm just waiting for the comments. Jesse is definitely representing the pack today. Well, I mean. How could he not? Mm-hmm. Number one seed again. <laughs> I mean, and in the playoff hopes of the Vikings. <laughs> I mean, what little hope there was. Yeah, always. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, was it, was there? that's neither here nor there. I do this mostly for a couple of people in this building specifically ah. who are the biggest whine or crybabies in the history of the world. Okay. However, Happy New Year, Michelle. <laughs> Everybody I else digress. on Facebook. Happy 2022. All right, listen, Erica, here we go. Want to give you this big fat gift certificate. Hopefully we can get you there. Uh, Amanda's on top one to nothing, but that really means nothing. Because everybody was in and out and all that stuff. Yeah, so. yeah the holidays. You have to tell us before we play, Erica, who do you think is smarter? Who's going to win, Gordo or Amanda? I'm going for Gordito. Gordito. Oh, okay. oh, I like this. Yeah. She's starting out the, year, the new year great, right? I know. It's the best. Gordito. Do I need to roll my R's? Yes, like please. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So Gordo uh, wins. You win, Erica. Now, here we go, Amanda. Gordo going to ask you to a series of three questions. Whoever gets two right first wins. You must bark like a dog first to answer the question first, okay? Got it. You know, and remember that uh, huge packet we've been rolling off for like the last six months? Yeah. yeah. Are we winding down? We're going to wind down because we're right. taking a turn here. Oh, no. There's like 20 questions per page, and I can use like one per page. Oh, no. Oh. Weird. <laughs> but there is some math questions coming up, which should be fun. That oh, should be Good thing you went with a gordita. All right. <laughs> Do. Oh. Do. Gordita. Yeah. Do. yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. Question one. How was American writer Samuel Langhorn Clements known better? <laughs> no? Better? What? Was it, uh, oh, let's skip that question. Okay. Yeah. That's right. a really good yeah, idea. No, it's Mark Twain, but I, oh. there was. It was Mark Twain, but... Uh, okay. There yeah. was no options. The answers are gone. <laughs> no, See what I mean? Are, yeah, they are. They're, they're completely gone. gone. Yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. Boy, this is great Off start, right? Great start, yeah. yeah. Oh, you gotta, you can't start high. You got to start low and I build. suppose, yeah. That's right. Fair enough. What is the uh, Italian word for pie? Oh, uh, woof. Gordo. <laughs> We're not hoeing anymore, dude. Pizza. Pizza's right. Pizza. 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 That is the uh, Italian word for pie. Okay, so there you go. Gordo's on top. Gordito is on top. One to nothing. How many bones are there on a skull and crossbones flag? 
Ooh. Amanda? Four. Right. Gordo, two, three, or four? Skull and crossbones. Let's go three. Three is right. Okay. Wow, really? Really? The really? crossbones really? and the skull. Yeah, okay. Oh, <laughs> oh got it. Yeah. yeah. I, for Gold. some reason, I was thinking it was going up, like a, an X, like yeah. it was going up. Okay. okay, so I believe we're tied up, right? No, that's yeah, a win. That's a no, win. That's a win. Okay. Okay. Way to go, Gordito. <laughs> Erica, you're a great big winner just like that. 2022 Woo. starts off going to be your year, okay? Sounds good. Uh, Gordo, you've tied the score <laughs> one-to-one on the main scoreboard. You have won the right to exercise the world-famous double or nothing clause. Let's go for it. In nautical terms, <laughs> okay. what is the opposite of port? Uh, Woof. Gordo. Starboard? Starboard's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Oh, that was really oh, two. I still lost. Right? I had no yeah. idea what you guys were even talking yeah. about. What? I knew that. You did. Really? No, no this is like a foreign language. That's, nope. Oh, my God. I am oh, starting off the new year just fabulous. <laughs> You're doing it up right where you left off. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Perfect. All right, Cheers. listen. Gordo goes on top. Two to nothing on the main Ooh. scoreboard. All right. Erica's a winner. Big 98.7. Wake, wake up. They better wake up. Better stay up. Yeah. Jesse and Amanda with Gordo in the morning. Big 98.7. Amanda's junk drawer. Come on. Oh, just devastating. I, I just saw it on, what was it, like TMZ something. I'm like, this has got to be somebody just pulling it, like just pulling a trick on us. I yeah. didn't think it was going to happen. Man, one final kick to the you know what. Right at the end yes. of the year, Your New Year's mm-hmm. Eve. She almost couple weeks made shy it. of her hundred yes, birthday. Yes, her hundredth birthday. Betty White did pass away. In case for some reason you missed it, her agent and longtime friend over the weekend said even in her final days, Betty White knew that she was loved by her fans. She knew it. I would tell her often, even when she wasn't working. I said, Betty, millions of people out there are still asking for you. You're still getting fan letters. I'm getting offers for you. She uh, or he went on to say, I don't know if she ever really embraced it or really, really felt the extent of it. I really don't. But went on to talk about how um, she was so loved and how every time he would tell her that, she would just kind of smile and say, really? I hope she knew. I think she did. It was something beyond love. I mean, everybody felt that way about her. On some level, I'm not sure there's ever been a bigger, more loved on star. More. Uh, what, I can agree with you. Yeah. I mean, who, Embraced by everybody. Who yeah. doesn't? Have you ever met anybody in your life that doesn't go, I love Betty White. I love Betty White. Yeah, she just had that. (laughs) And I mean, what was she born in the 30s? 20s. Oh, I guess if she's going to be 100, right? She was born uh, 22. I mean, the thing she saw and had to overcome in her life way back then trying to make it in show business. I know. All of it. I mean, God, you imagine. And she did. And and on every level. I uh, Just a few conversations like over the holiday with my grandpa, who's in what he just turned 90. And just what he had seen from the front lines of the Korean War to COVID. I mean, just that life. He probably had life. a poster or two of Betty White. Back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> right. You see pictures of her when she was young, man. No, wow. Oh, yes. Absolutely. I saw a couple of videos I watched. Uh, people were posting old YouTube stuff of outtakes mm-hmm. from Golden Girls. Okay. okay. When she was uh, just improvising and busting everybody up. And Just she, so funny. She never broke character. <laughs> or on Mary right. Tyler Moore. Yeah. Right. Oh, this kind of Cleveland too. I saw. Yeah. A bunch of those. Going yeah. back to even last week, we were talking about John Madden and how he got a chance to see what everybody had to say about him. Well, leading up to her hundredth birthday. Oh yeah. From Ryan Reynolds to uh, we were talking about uh, Ford, uh, Redford, Robert Redford. That was like her man. She was like, this is who I've always liked. He <laughs> uh, even responded to her like too. beforehand. So hopefully she felt that love and was able to know that what you are life. an icon. Yeah, what a life. All though. those memes leading up, you know, like oh, saying yeah. we need to bump. I look back at those and I'm like kind of angry. The, I, the, let's bubble wrap Betty White. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I actually show. I I reshared one because on New Year's Day of last year. It was a picture of Betty White, and I shared that one, and it was said, uh, suck it, yeah. 2020, yeah. I made it. You know, paraphrase. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. <laughs> no. But, uh, yeah, when you look back, you're like, oh, man. A legend for sure, yeah. yeah. And Miley Cyrus was performing Party in the USA during her New Year's Eve special when her silver crop top slipped off, mm-hmm. causing her to rush off stage to change her attire. Other people tweeting, she didn't suffer a uh, wardrobe malfunction. In fact, she rocked it. Uh, girl didn't miss a beat. Stop. She- right there. Girl didn't miss a beat. You want to know why? Because it was planned? No, because <laughs> it was lip synced. 
Oh, of course you didn't miss a yeah. beat because that the damn CD so was playing. Yeah. Yeah. They were playing the CD. Man. That was all Millie Vanilli. That's why she didn't miss a beat. It's very she studio quality. Yeah. Yeah. She yeah. tweeted back and she said, absolutely not. The entire night was pure joy. I loved oh. every second of it. I don't know how she did it. She would, didn't even have the microphone by her face and she didn't Crazy. miss a beat. She's so good. Did any of you get a chance to watch it? No. I did no, not. God. I was wondering no. how like the ratings and all of that kind of fell with P. Davidson and her, if it was like, okay, this is so over the top, um, but we'll have huh. to wait and see. And I cannot wait for this. She has really? not. Really? Yeah. The I, trailer kind of really, gets you. It totally does. Did you watch yeah. the whole thing? I did. Yeah. She's not going to say anything. She's not oh, going to say man. anything you don't already know. Mom's not going to say nothing. Yeah, mom's not going to say well, anything. Well, we've been hearing that Janet Jackson is going to be speaking out for the very first time. She has not ever done any speaking. I mean, you remember how the Jackson 5 started. You remember how her dad, Joe, was uh, uh, awful. Yes. Awful. awful. Yeah, I'll leave it at that. He awful. was awful. And uh, her mom, still alive. And everybody wants to know, how did she actually feel about the Justin Timberlake wardrobe malfunction? Was she in on it? All of that. This is all going to be on A&E and in Lifetime on January 28th. It's a two-night She's already special. kind of spoken out about that. I mean, what, what, are, you, what are you trying to get? You think she's going to talk about Michael or did he or did he not? Of course not. Of course not. When we were hearing about all this stuff, honestly, didn't even cross my mind that she would think anybody would even ask her about Michael. But obviously, that's a huge part of her life. Sure. Michael, Michael was my brother. Uh, and that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> Listen to what the trailer says, though. Mother, how do you feel talking about Mike? I can't. Oh my God! Wait, wait, wait! Stop, stop, stop! Play that again. Okay. <laughs> they all sound just like me. I know. That, was, that I know. was the that was the mom. I know. It's so bizarre. Hold on. Are we sure mom's still alive and that's not Michael? Listen, mother, how do you feel talking about Mike? I can't. <laughs> That's Michael Jackson. You are terrible. That's not Catherine Jackson. That, that is, is Michael Catherine Jackson. Jackson. She died trailer. 20 years ago. No, and that didn't. is Michael Jackson in makeup. Right. Right. There's a lot of makeup. Mother, how do you feel talking about Mike? I can't. Did the allegations affect you career wise? Yeah. Guilty by association. Guess that's what they call it, right? Oh my God, that's Michael Jackson, you guys. I don't care when what you, you say. That was actually, Janet. that was Janet. When you watch this trailer, because one Jackson. of the little brothers talks to you and you're like, what? What is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, right. yeah, oh, exactly Mrs. Mrs. Jackson, how do you feel about your son? Show <laughs> mom. I can't really talk about that. <laughs> He's ignorant. <laughs> but I can. Moonwalk over here. You need to watch the full trailer. I think this is one of those bubbles? everybody's going to watch. Where's Bubbles? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the monkey? Bubbles was yeah, his monkey. Bubbles was monkey. Yeah. Yeah. Bubbles? Why was yeah. I think? I thought it was uh, no, it's Bubbles. Bubba. No, no. no. It's Bubbles. <laughs> no, that's a different movie. Anyway, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's like uh, Tito, Jackson, Randy Jackson, we get your comment too. Neither one of us can speak either. <laughs> <laughs> what a day, what a day, what a morning. Sassy and Amanda with Gordo in the morning. Yeah, I said Gordo. Feel good all day. Way to start the day. Big ninety-eight point seven. All right, so kidney stone, Pat. Now, Gordo. First of all, you've been uh, you were gone for uh, a couple of weeks. The way the holidays all worked out, it's pretty much two weeks, right? Yeah. No, right. I walked in I'm like, hey, how was your trip? Oh, wasn't long enough. I'm like, dude, you were gone for a year, <laughs> <laughs> basically. Yeah. Uh, but you guys drove right to we Washington did. State yeah. and back. Oh, you do that. And the weather was. It was worse than we expected. We got like two feet of snow in Washington. That's a lot in Washington. Yeah. Well, then yeah. also, but coming back. Going to and coming back this time of year is tough because you're you're driving through some mountain ranges. Yeah, yep. There were and, some closures, and a lot of times they're closed. They've closed the passes and Eek. stuff. Sometimes there was some sitting and waiting on the road too. Yep, yep. 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 You're going to get all that. So good times. It's always fun. I don't know why you do that. Drive. <laughs> we wanted to take the dogs. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's smart, especially yeah. if you're gone that long. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, and then but at you least get... you have the time to get there and back. Very true. All right. Pretty uneventful uh, trip though. It was because of the weather. We just basically stayed home. Okay. Stayed home and visited. Oof. Okay. That's some nice family quality time. Uh, Made sure we yes. were stocked up with lots of booze. That's Two cool. weeks of family quality time. Yeah. Oof. The in-laws. And- oh. <laughs> good times. Uh, everything Fun. was good, though. Did you see the grandparents? We did. Did they want to take a ride in the truck for old time's sake? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Grandma loves me. Mm-hmm. I don't know what that's about. But- that's good, though. All right. She likes me a lot. Grandpa, not so much? 
we're on like a handshake basis. Okay. Which, you know, oh, right. okay. it's all right. I get that. Yeah. Did the truck topic come up at all? Uh, and the money? And the- not with me. But yeah, my wife did make a payment. <laughs> it's like I handed over the cash. Yeah. Basically. She, oh my God, got that she made a payment to them. Yeah. Because they didn't feel they got enough money for the truck. Oh, well, remember there was like 3000 that we shorted. Yeah, so it, it, every well, month they're making payments. Yeah. So this one so was a transaction. you're paying off to the bank. <laughs> And, and them. I know. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, we're almost done with the grandparents. Almost done. Wow. <laughs> that's nice. Yeah. That'll be nice yeah. when that's all done, right? Will be. Yes. Yeah. Some extra money in the pocket. Oh. Mm. All right. All right. And Kenny so Pat, you were gone for a lot I longer was. than anticipated. I was gone for a long time. I went to Salt Lake City to see my niece. Yep. All right. And had a great time down there. Then the It's fl- a fun city, believe it yes, or not. Yes. So how long there, was- there are There are some weird... Yes. We are some weird restrictions in that yeah. whole state, and especially and in Salt Lake I, City. I said, I go, I kept saying to my niece, Makora, I kept saying, they're so well behaved here. <laughs> Other than being in Fargo, we are not well behaved. And they have, did you feel like you were the wild one? Yes, I did. Now, I did, did, like, do they still have the three, two? Because that was the last, we went there two years in a row in the last five years. Because that's where NDSU lacrosse played. That's oh, where yeah, the national championship. championship was. Got it. Yep. All right. So we and were there. But we started calling it 3 2 Utah instead of Utah. Yeah. Because all the beer is 3.2. It is. Oh. And it's ran by, by the state. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they did cut, you, it still uh, is. Get they, were, loose? Yep. they were trying to get rid of that. It still I is. Didn't, no. Wait, no. wait, wait. So they cut the beer in half, basically? Yeah. Well, well no, it's not like by five. half. It's like a th- it's like two thirds. It's like grocery Jeez. store stuff in Minnesota. It's like two thirds. But yeah. also, now. In Utah, you you can't have uh, you can't have two drinks in. Let me try to remember. Stop no, me if you, I'm wrong. You can't have two drinks in front of you, right? At the same time, like if you got a beer or a bloody and a chaser, nope. No, if you got a let's say you want a cocktail really? and a beer, right. nope. You know, there's got to be somebody sitting next to you. Yeah, and then there's some weird rules and what they can and can't sell. There's like a beer store, huh. a liquor store, and a wine store. Yep. And you can only buy That's like two exhausting. cases. <laughs> yeah, it, it is. is. It's all controlled though. by the LDS. Mm-hmm. So. Interesting. Okay, so when were you supposed to leave Utah? I left Utah on... Did you leave uh, Utah on schedule? I did, yes. Okay. Flew into Denver. Flew into Denver. Waited and when there was for about six hours, huh? When Ooh. was this? On the 20... 20- Eighth, I think it was twenty eighth. Okay, okay. So 29th, you get twenty seventh. I don't know what oh day. Boy. You get into Denver. <laughs> did you have a layover scheduled for six hours? I did, and I didn't know that. You did. I mean, I did know that, but I was kind of mad. But it was just whatever. I was. I'm forgot. fine with it. Yep. You did know that, or you didn't know that? Because I did know it. I'm okay. sorry. Okay. It yes. Sounds like you forgot. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, there's so worse airports like, to be stuck at. At least right, they have some Denver cool breweries is a and stuff. Very nice airport. Yeah. I yeah. love to do my stuck at Denver. For sure. Yes, definitely. So um, I stayed there, whatever. Well, as weather in Fargo and more or Moorhead got bad, they canceled our flight. So Oof. then I was like, well, you know. Who are I'm you with? Myself. Okay. So I'm <laughs> like, well, I'll just. We got you know, some wild. <laughs> you're in Denver. You got some wild fl- wildfires burning up and things yeah. going on. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's right. Well, that night, I, um, you know, they said you could cancel your uh, flight, whatever. Now blah, they, blah, blah. they got you a room. Rebooked you. They did not get me a room. I had to pay for my own room. What? Yes. What, what because airline? It's, uh, United. Oof, okay. So with uh-huh. weather. There wasn't an with, option. Right. With weather, they don't give you a room. If it's like a mechanical thing or oh, a okay. flight or oh, something. Because it's an act of God. Uh, yep, yep, God yep. It's out of our control. Right. So, um, so I what hotel re- did you decide to I go to? I stayed downtown at the Four Seasons. For, wow, you made it all the way downtown. Yes, and I what, did. Uh, and guess. What, what room did you get, Pat? I got the presidential suite. Well, and of course you would. Wow. Nice. Oh, I, I, I want to be a I, I got a limo and <laughs> Is that everything. the one with the jacuzzi in the inside? Uh, so a they, limo? Yeah, they they scheduled everything for me. So I was like, well, well if you're going to get the presidential paper. suite, no, I'm sure that was probably, oh, a couple hundred bucks for the night, Like right? about $672 for <laughs> oh, the night. Yeah. With Dude. the bellboy and room service. And, you know, I was fine. I was all set up. Limo back to the... Um, Airport. The airport and Jeez. and you were ready to hit the town, maybe invite some people back. Yes, well, for the yes. Next week gonna do it, but what yes. happened? Yes, uh, active shooter that was no. in the area. Yeah, that mass shooting. So everybody was locked down. We couldn't leave our rooms. There was messages all over 
Yeah, so. So you got locked. I mean, this I is like Home Alone Denver. style. You're just yeah. like hanging out at the Four Seasons, Literally, but in Denver. Yep. By yeah. yourself. And I kept screaming and hollering out there. I'm like, come and catch me. I'm watching dirty movies. Dirty movies? <laughs> <laughs> Was that parents. included in the six hundred? There better be some. There better be some things included. <laughs> if I'm paying six hundred bucks a night, there better be some. Can you even get room service though? If yeah. it's in lockdown. Well, no. I mean, I had it before, so yeah. Got it. But um, um. nobody. I don't know. There so was, you were only there for a few hours, and then you went back to the airport. I was there overnight, and then I went back to the airport the next morning. And, and then were you? And then what happened? And then I waited because I. Uh, had to, what time uh, was the first uh, flight scheduled for at you? At twelve leave? ten in the morning, their okay. time. So then 12, I was twelve ten in the morning or twelve ten in the afternoon. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. You're, you're yeah, 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 a little after midnight. Yeah, yeah, right. like, yeah, sorry, you're taking sorry, a red sorry. eye to Fargo. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> no, 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 not to Fargo. That didn't happen. No. Oh, where were you flying? I because I got Jamestown. a Snapchat. <laughs> I got a Snapchat from somebody who's like. I got to drive to Jamestown yep. to pick up Pat. Yep. <laughs> you flew to Jamestown? Yeah, well, United, two that's the flight. Friends. It's a two flight. Two of our friends, uh, <laughs> Dave and Jamie, came and picked me up in a storm, too. I have to tell you. Oh it was God. so cold. <laughs> that Jamestown uh, airport is so And I want to thank so them. Hilarious. Our, youngest, <laughs> our youngest and his girlfriend flew back to New York, right? Yeah. And they changed their flight because of the weather and stuff. They stayed two extra days on Friday. Our, on our day off. Oh, that's right. I had to get up at four and take him to Jamestown. Oh. Man, first of all, Connor was perfect, spot on. When we pull up to the airport, he goes, oh, my God, is this a, is this a school? Is this an <laughs> elementary school or an airport? You didn't go oh, in with no. him, did you? No, but I've been in there before. But, oh, okay. man, I'm telling you, with the snow and the blowing and the cold, yeah. Driving that drive and pulling up and trying to go to that airport, I'm like, I'm looking around, going, "Am I in in like Russia? Am you I in feel U- like you're in, in the, the twilight zone. Yes. Where, really? where am I? This can't be the United States. It's right. always funny when you get like off Cold that Cold War Russia. <laughs> you get off that road and then you just start going, and you're almost by a dirt road, and you're like, "Wait, th- are we sure there's an airport over here?" And then you walk <laughs> wow. in, and all of a sudden, it's. You check in, then your security, then you're walking in oh, your no. airplane. It's I, just I, boom, I, boom, boom. I text Khan about a half hour, wait a half hour. I'm like, in through security and everything? He goes, no. I go, what? He well, goes, they didn't open it. He goes, the plane only holds 50 people. Security is, quote, not open yet. <laughs> right. So we're all sitting in the lobby. I'm like, yep. the whole plane? Oh, my God. He goes, yep, only flight for the most of today. So we're all sitting in the lobby Waiting for security to If I remember open. right, you go wow. through security and then you just get on the plane, yeah, basically. basically. Yeah, yeah, you took pictures. You walk out onto the tarmac. Yep. They pull the stairs up to the airplane and you jump up in there. Man. I've done that and oh, watered down. Save a lot of those money, are, though. Yeah, right, those sure. are the two yep. flights, if you're, especially to Denver. Yes, it's yep. a good price. They were doing, though, in Jamestown, they were doing uh, questions. They're asking the people questions. Like what trivia? Yeah, yeah, trivia questions. And I was like, <laughs> were they giving away prizes? <laughs> yeah, I guess. I was. It was on the other side. The people waiting for the plane because did they you stopped. win anything? No, I oh, was. In, I was not. winning the other side. <laughs> We've tell heard me, you play like, this mother. Oh my tell God. me all this that now the airport has like a meat raffle or I something. Know, I feel like I'm on that. <laughs> <laughs> now they have pull tabs and blackjack. Like, Excuse me, can I <laughs> check my pork chops, please? Jesse and Amanda with Gordo in the morning. With society's lower level. Oh, no, dude. Oh, no. Oh. Rednecks in the news. Off we go into 2022 with a, an instant classic, an instant entry into the wall of shame. Guys. All right. We Make got room. a clean slate. Here we go. <laughs> a couple came home New Year's Day after a staycation at a local hotel. Nice. Nice right. little place, yeah. right? Nice idea. Sure. To find, of all things, their curtains had been stolen. Weird. <laughs> Just walking inside when you pull in the driver, you're like, what? Did what? So they walk in. That was it. Just their curtains. And the very special curtains, they're special because the wife had made them custom oh. for their home to fit the front window they had put in that was custom and oddly shaped. Got it. Okay. okay? Weird. Okay. Right. It's weird. Yes. It, it, All of it is weird. Everything so far is, but it's going to get so much better, you guys. Okay. Now, nothing else in the home had been touched. Nothing was stolen. They looked for everything. Just the custom curtains were gone. Interesting. When police arrived, the woman was describing them to police in front of the window where the curtains used to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mid-sentence, she stopped. 
because she was looking across the street at the neighbors. No, no way. Shut up. <laughs> Where the neighbor had their customs curtain, custom curtains hanging crooked in their front window. <laughs> the wife said, uh, there are my curtains. Oh my God. Police and the woman walked across the street, knocked on the door where the homeowner let him in, denied yeah. that the curtains were oh, no. theirs. Oh, these are mine. Even yeah. though they're hanging crooked. Yeah. <laughs> And about a foot too short for the window. <laughs> oh, my God. No, I bought these, I so, swear. She said she bought them at Walmart. Okay. And that's when the woman pulled out pictures of the process of her making them and the custom curtains and them hanging them. Yeah. And she was How bizarre. arrested. <laughs> How bizarre. That curtains. is. So she went, she went in the house and stole the curtains and then took them and brought them back home to her I her feel like house. this is. That is just. Like, Welcome to 2022, bizarre, friends. Bizarre, man. <laughs> Nothing else. <laughs> Weird. I wanted those curtains. Are you kidding me? Big 98.7. <laughs> Get up. Wake up, wake up. Jesse and Amanda with Gordo in the morning. Every morning. Woo! Big 98.7. All right. Hello. Here you go, guys. You better get it together if you want to be successful with your relationships. Because this is the one thing okay. that women say they need. The one thing. I'm intrigued. 96% of women. And Match.com asked 5,000 women. That's a fair amount. Okay. Yeah. 96% of women said this is the one thing they need if they're going to have a successful relationship. Honesty. No. Mm-mm. Well, that's what I would have assumed. I mean, I laughed at this yeah. at first, but then I thought, well, it makes sense because... Every time I see it happen, mostly on social media, I'm like, oh, my God, dude, you, what are you doing? On social media. I mean, if you got to take them places and be out in public with them. See, I mean, hygiene came in at 88%. That's. This, so this isn't. A, this came in at 96%. This isn't like More a physical important? thing? No. Huh. It doesn't. Sound, well, kind of, because it doesn't sound like there's going to be any physical things at all if you don't get this going. Get this going. Well, ninety-six percent of women, and by the way, ninety-one percent of men that were surveyed said the same thing. So this is the big thing. This is what you better get together if you want to have a successful relationship. Do you guys have have this together? Yes. No idea. Do I have it together too? I believe so. Okay. Yeah. Hey. All right. Okay. Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not hard. Oh. (laughs) Well. I'll give you. I'll give you a hint. Uh, Hygiene came in second with eighty-eight percent, and then down from there, it was uh, a. Confidence okay. and teeth. Okay, so we, this, we do want you to have teeth. This yeah. beat. Is this a job? Is this, it a job? This beat. It's not okay, a job. That's hilarious. It's not even a job. Oh my God. That's how loose this is. Okay. Job wasn't even top 10. What? 96% of women. You don't even need women, a J-O-B. A car. Nope. Uh, bank account. Uh, nope. Wow. Uh, I, on it, not, a my, dog? My, nope. It beat hygiene. It beat confidence. It beat teeth. A toothbrush. No, uh, you already said teeth. Uh, <laughs> Money? I mean. <laughs> Good grammar. Oh. Good yeah, that, grammar. That, wow. That is important, but not. Wow, that important? But think about that, that, though. It's like if you're, uh, you know, you're hanging and you see it all the time and it makes you cringe sometimes. But it's like, imagine like if, you know, you're introducing somebody to your coworkers or family and you're like, you know, yeah, I seen that. Or, you know, <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I hear you. It's like hear a redneck. You. Yeah. Wow. 96% going good grammar. I seen them over there. It, <laughs> Does that yeah. also apply to like stuff that's written? Of course, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, the wrong there and two. Thankfully, and spell check helps, your, but no, like your, some of those, your, your, yeah. yeah. Your, 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 there, there, there. Wow. Seen, saw. That actually surprises me. Yeah. Well, I mean, that high a number. I mean. My yeah. mom was a public school teacher, always constantly correcting me. Really? And so I find it like kind of built into me to do the You're same that thing. that person? Yeah. I, I have to catch no, no, myself all the time. I do not try to correct my wife, but I do a lot still. <laughs> Stephanie's kind of a grammar policer. Oh, yeah. 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 Me and Stephanie, apparently. Yeah, I mean, it's like, she'll be like, oh, my God, look at this. I'm like, okay, calm down. I am uh, not. I am let not. it change the day. Okay? Don't let, let it change it go. the dynamic of the day. Yeah. Go. Jesse and Amanda with Gordo in the morning. Big 98.7. One bourbon. One shot.
Time IQ of 2022. What's up, Sean? How are you? Morning, guys. Hey, right. Morning, Happy Sean. Sean. Happy right. New Year. All right, Sean. Bar Time IQ. First off, here's what you're working with. For starters, how much have you had to drink tonight? Three. Three. <laughs> Three. Three. All right. <laughs> Sounds angry. It does a little. What was he angry about? I don't know. Just off work. Yeah. I don't. I'm not sure. Three. three. And they cut me off. <laughs> After oh, just three. three. Okay. All, All right. right. So that's what you're working with, Sean. And you've got to be right uh, three times out of the five times on whether or not the drunk guy's right, okay? Mr. Three. Sounds good. All right. All right. We got a big fat gift certificate on the line for you, too. Ooh. Like to make your great big nice. winner. Nice. Kick off your year the right way, right? Right. All right. <laughs> Question one What geometric shape is a stop sign? All right. Like it. Starting with a softball. Very easy. Yes. Yeah. Amanda? Octagon. Mm, look at that. Wow. Look at that. What's a softball? And again, <laughs> <laughs> and again, Sean, you know that uh, Amanda is a very good gauge on whether or not our drunk contestant is going to get this right or not. So, yeah. <laughs> no beers for me so far this morning. Do you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> like Sean, do you think he gets this right? Yeah, I think he'll get it. All right, let's find out. Hexagon. Oh. Look for an octagon. <laughs> yeah. uh, a confession oh to make. God. The first thing that came to my mind was hexagon, yeah. and I went octagon. So well, I'll at go. least admit it. You reasoned yourself out of that and yeah. gave us the right answer. Yeah. That's exactly that. that's what you're supposed to do. Right. I know. And hi to everybody live on Big 98.7's Facebook page. Yeah. Good morning, good morning to good morning. Curtis. Alexander says good morning and happy new year. All right. All Back right. at ya. All right. Question two goes like this. What is the Pope's name? First name. Mm. It's very tricky. I want to say it's Alejandro or Alex. The Pope. <laughs> Alejandro? Alejandro Alex. No. Where's, Alex. Where's the Pope from? Alejandro. No. Isn't he from Italy or something? Right? I sw- Rome? Ro- just wait. His name is. You would ask me that, dude. You just said, what's the Pope's first name? I would have said, Pope? Yeah. No, because it's That's been John Paul. I mean, that would have worked. John Paul, yeah. but it's, uh, it's, I think it starts with an A. Francis, yep. Alejandro Francis, what is the difference? <laughs> they sound the same. Nationalities, <laughs> yeah. different parts of the world. Pretty big difference. You know, yeah. Other than that. Uh, yeah, All yeah, right, yeah. man. I'm uh, intrigued now. So, Sean, do you think he gets this right? <laughs> no. <laughs> After that last one? No. <laughs> Alejandro. All right, what is the Pope's first name? John. That's a really good guess. Uh, it's Francis. Pope Francis. See, uh, I even knew it wasn't. Well, we John. had, no, John well, we had Pope one. John Paul for, yeah. for exactly. 117 of them. We're all very well about There was like Francis. 17 of them for, no. in a row, wasn't there? I think it? that might yes. be a better guess than Alejandro. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Whatever, guys. I'm giving myself credit. For good morning, what? by the way, to Don well, Amanda. and Barb. She's saying good morning in Florida. Lucky. Cre- credit for trying? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, for knowing it wasn't John. Oh. <laughs> You're right. You get all the credit. <laughs> yeah. okay. I'm giving it to myself. I don't care what you guys say. Right. <laughs> okay. We know. All right. Question three. And we, and we for sure she's not have, had anything to drink this morning. Uh, no, Sean. just two things of coffee and some H2O. To yep. answer your question, Sean, no. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody sniffed the coffee. All right. Here we go. Oh, question three. So what U.S. city is known as the city of brotherly love? All right. City of brotherly love. Easy. Easy. Peasy. Yes. Philadelphia. There you yes. go. Okay. And again, you some redeem- people call it Philly. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say you redeemed yourself, but <laughs> <laughs> just razzing. Okay, uh, oh, razz- Sean is it? Uh, is he right with Philadelphia, <laughs> aka Philly? Uh, I he's, I don't have confidence in this this guy. I'm going to say no. You don't think he gets this right, <laughs> Mister Three Beers? No. All right, let's no. find out. City of Brotherly Love, Long Town. <laughs> Oh. Montana. City, city, city. Uh, Did he say Montana? Montana, he said. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. City, yep. Montana Good is job. not the city of brotherly love. No. no. It is not indeed. the state either. No. Philadelphia. Okay. <laughs> Swing and a miss. All right. Three beers. Yeah. Mm, you mean into the 30s? angry three beers? Yeah. yeah. In, the, in the 30 seconds leading up to these I questions. Know, right. Maybe. All right. Here we go. In what ocean did the Titanic sink? Now, really, you got a fitty-fitty here. Yeah, I, I suppose. mean, really. Right. Uh, I think it was the Atlantic. Yep. Atlantic. Like I say, you got a 50-50. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Do you think he's going to get this one right, Sean? Icebergs no. right ahead. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's a great movie. <laughs> still mad at Rose. Let's we find out. There was yes. room. There was there room was, for Jack. There was room, yeah. room. <laughs> Sean says he doesn't get this right. Let's find out. Pacific. Oh. In the Atlantic. Oh. That uh, is three right, though, was for sure. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Was somebody's alarm just going off in there, too? It sounded like it, yeah. <laughs> what, what was that? Time to wake up. Yeah. I don't know. All right, man. Sure. Wake up, dude. You <laughs> got a big bad gift certificate. We do have one question left, though. Let's see if the guy can get one right. Uh, no kidding. I mean, we rolling into 2022 with this guy. He hasn't got one right yet. I like it. It's a great start. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. Let's go. I think his three both- beers were squared. Probably. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> Including both teams and the goalies, how many players are on the ice in a game of hockey? Right. Oh, come on. Easy peasy, right? 12. Look at that. Wow. Amanda yeah. gets it. Easy Amanda enough. Amanda gets it, yes. right? Because you're I counting would... goalies. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right. By per team and goalies, right? I think I think he's got to get it. Do no. You? Do you? Ooh. After what we've just heard? Hockey? Sean says no. I'm... I don't know. He I doesn't don't. just by the because he's only got ten fingers and toes. So I'm going to say no. I wouldn't think he would get. Well, this. he hasn't gotten one right. No, nothing. Yeah, and nothing. he's angry. Let's find out if he can go perfect. Let's see it on the loser scale. Eight. <laughs> well, we can only go up from here. What a way to kick off 2022 with Bartom. One bourbon. One sky. Point seven. Get up, get, get, get up. Come on. Jesse and Amanda with Gordo in the morning. Big 98.7. One of the two phrases that will make people like you even oh, I hope. more. Huh. New research shows these phrases provide uh, a valuable signal that you are someone with whom a high quality relationship could be formed. Okay. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh and you were taught them at the youngest of ages. Please and thank, thank you. Thank you. Please yes. and thank you. Actually, in the opposite order. Thank you, you and please. please. Yes. Huh. How are people that's, not that's doing it. that? Mom was right. Oh, my God. How many people don't do that? Are you kidding me? They do me? it all oh, the time. Oh, yeah. There's so many people that can't form those words. Uh, it's not even mm-hmm. funny. You I know? always do. I always, I always see it like, man... It, it, whether it's even a wave in a car, like when you let somebody in and they don't, yeah, they don't, they don't wave back. Wave. I'm like, man, I wish I had to. I could go back in time 30 seconds. I would not let you in. Right, I feel the same right. way about common courtesy. I feel kind of the same way about your welcome. You know, if you if you say thank you, right, or mm-hmm. somebody says thank you, you should say you're welcome back. I usually yeah. I just say no problem. Hey, yeah, no problem. something along those lines. Oh, you, no thank sweat. you. No problem, man. Nothing. Yeah. No big, no nothing. big deal. Yeah. Or like when you hold a door and they just look at you and it's like. Right. No you kidding. Like, you like flinch it like you're going to shut it on them. Like, that is really <laughs> sad though. And I guess, I mean, we don't go out very often, but I feel like that is just please and thank you. I mean, I don't feel like we have that issue around here. You know, I feel like there's always. A- I think you probably need to go out more then because mm-hmm. I think it is. I always get confused because I just actually just last weekend when somebody, I was coming in and somebody opened the door and I went, thank you. And it was a double door. I go, thank you. No problem. And, but they were, the other person, she was ahead of me still. And she opened the, the second door and I'm like. Are we covered here, or do I double thank you? <laughs> double yeah. thank you. Right. Right. Do, right. do, do I double thank you, or are we good? You know, and I just <laughs> See, but that's also know. just funny. Yeah. We all just start laughing. Still Everybody's laughing. Acknowledging yeah. the fact that somebody did something for you. It's yeah. just, I don't know. It's not that hard of a thing to do. No, it yeah. is not. It is not. Well, Unbelievably. I'm- I would like to think parents, like, that's our thing right now, instilling in our kids. It's please and thank you for absolutely everything. Right. What's the magic word? We should start <laughs> doing that saying? as an adult. What do you say? <laughs> oh I'm going to do that. Oh my God. You just stand at the door. It's like freezing outside. What do you say? You're walking into the mall. Oh you stand at the gosh. door. Oh, my gosh. You just look at that. the lady. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do, do you, you say? <laughs> and then it gets to the next door. Well, you didn't say. What? What's yeah. the next and magic word? you go word? to the next door. You just look at her. <laughs> what do we say? Now, here we go. Jesse and Amanda with Gordo in the morning. Jesse and Amanda with Gordo in the morning. Rise and shine. Big 98.7. All right. <laughs> so, you've heard the expression. And listen, it's always the one that's a billionaire going, hey, man, money doesn't make you happy, believe me. More money, more problems. It's always the yeah, dudes right? with all the money going, listen, man, it just it's not going to make you happy. <laughs> it's, it's not, not what you think. It's like, well, I don't see you giving it to us to let us find out. <laughs> right. yeah, I mean, I obviously can see how, how that, it Bezos? can yeah. cause more problems than do, but at the same time, also, a root of a lot of problems is money, financial stress. Yes, yes absolutely. Yes. You ever met a really super happy dirt poor person? Mm, no. No. Okay. I mean. Yeah. No, you haven't. 
<laughs> what do you mean you mean? I don't know. I'm sure there is. That are just living up. They, they're like very content with what they have. And they can still be happy. Pretty far and few between. <sighs> I okay, sorry to give you a little brain stumper today. Well, you know, that is. She is just coming off a season of Hallmark movies. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that go. But there is a new study. And they studied, apparently, 1.6 million people from 162 countries. Okay. Pretty thorough. And you are less likely to be happy once you start making more than $75,000 a year. You're wow. what? Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and... Me too. Really? I buzzer that. Yeah, yes. I'd like, like to find out for I myself. I mean, honestly, right? right? <laughs> Having more money doesn't necessarily make a person more compassionate and graceful. The greater the wealth may not contribute to building a more caring and tolerant society. Wah, wah. Of course not. Well, at this They're rate, not, you have to have that kind of money to get through society oh, anymore. Right. I mean, right. honestly. And once, yeah, you know, pay you, the bills. once you start making, uh, you know, working harder, climbing the ladder, making a little bit more money, you probably become a little less tolerant to the people that aren't so inclined that still think they should be getting money. Right. Right. Okay, want the Jesse, handouts. calm down a second. I'm just, saying, no, I'm I'm just I know. pointing out the obvious, but no. it's always the people with the billion dollars though, that are like, hey, listen. Uh, the view from up here, you wouldn't like it. <laughs> yeah, beautiful, I mean, like, ocean view. You're not like, going to. The penthouse ain't all it's cracked yeah, up to be, looking man. Looking down at the okay. steerage below. Okay. <laughs> Too spacious. The deluxe apartment in the sky ain't, ain't all it's all cracked up <laughs> right. to be. What would be, like, the perfect amount of money for you guys? I mean, Jesse, I already know. You're, like, <sighs> you want all the money. I want all of it. Yeah. I do, But well, for you to live comfortably and happy while still working. I think you'd do you know. No, not working. No, not working. No, no, not working at all. You'd always the stress want more. Comes working is one of the most unhealthiest things you could do ever in your life. <laughs> all right. Uh, going like back. A, coming from a guy who doesn't have to. <laughs> right. To prove my <laughs> earlier point. Yeah, right. but you know, still. I don't have to work because, you know, family gives me money. But, but you still working do. is so unhealthy. <laughs> you work yeah. very what's, hard, though, still, even though you are getting that. What, like, that's what's, fantastic. What's your allowance? Mm, nothing. Oh. Mm, my allowance is mine own. What can, I make? Can I get an allowance? <laughs> yeah, no. I know. What's the, right. mag- what's the number? What's the number? Th- what are you talking about? What you, what would your salary have to be for you to be like so? I'm like feeling good. comfortable. Like you can still take a you I'm can take content. a vacation. You're not stressing over mm-hmm. bills. You're you're not over the top. You don't have helicopters. You don't have any of that kind of stuff. But you're just living a very wait average lifestyle. I don't. Well, if you have a very average lifestyle, how content and happy are you going to be? I don't know. I that's what I always wonder though, because going back to if you have too much money, then no, do you just become no a punk? Such thing as that. How is the helicopter going to ruin things? Yeah, yeah. How, I don't what, know. And what you give you me can one get there faster. I just want one example of how a heli- a personal helicopter <laughs> would make things worse. Yeah, please. A private uh, jet. I mean, <laughs> how's that going to be worse? Yeah, and don't Kobe true. Bryant me. I'm just saying. Oh uh, my gosh, it's been two years. I mean, Eesh. no, I think. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> that little DJ thing I have. We uh, DJ. New Year's Eve at Barcode. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, a very ill time to Betty White kind of joke. Uh-oh. Did not go over well. <laughs> uh, you can't make fun you of Betty did, White. You did right? not ring in the New Year with a bad Betty White joke. It was before New Year, but I feel she would have laughed knowing. Right. I would shoot though. No, knowing <laughs> Betty the way you know her. No, right. Knowing her well. I mean, you, you yeah. got to know her over her career. Sure. She would have laughed. Yeah. Like I Joan Rivers rates. kind of, you know, would have yeah. laughed. Okay. okay. Got it. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Do I deserve all the booze? <laughs> oh, really? you got booze. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Loudly. So now I'm, we're ending <laughs> this whole conversation about money. What was the joke? I'm not doing you it. Have oh, you have to. I will you, not. Dude, you I want, have to. I want the number. What's the number going to be, Amanda? You're the one over there with all okay, the, uh, I can live with on bologna sandwich one, <laughs> one, bologna, <laughs> yeah. one bologna sandwich a week yeah. as long as we'll I'm content. We'll be fine. Yeah. I would say that, like, comfortably, 150. <laughs> Which is three times the average, the median income. Yeah, but I know you don't need much. You that's don't. a lot of money. I, feel, I know, but that's I feel people a don't money. need a lot of money. That's not, I mean, hel- that's not like, helicopter money. Though. I, mean, God, I, even, I could, I could, I could scale back year. to 150k a year. <laughs> yeah, I mean, remember, oh, yeah. 30 wow. seconds ago. <laughs> 30 seconds ago, she's like, I'm sure there's people out there that are poor, that are happy. I'm sure there are. 
are. You guys are not oh, understanding sure. what I'm saying. I'm understanding no, we think we got it perfectly. <laughs> the problem, <laughs> Matt, is that we're listening to what I you're know, saying. I know, but don't you think that then you could, like, your kids would, you'd be able to, like, I don't know, just do more. But yet you'd still be not, like, you overly not rich. I don't know, Pat, what's it like? Well, it's <laughs> it's it's very nice. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't have to worry about anything. But I still work, mm-hmm. you know. That's kind of what I was getting at. Oh. Okay, so I just want to be Pat for a You day. need Pat That's... money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to live What's your my number, Gardo? Uh, it's not that much lower than what she was going to say. Or really? What she said. Yeah, I was going, uh, you know, 100 would be awesome. 100 a year. I would say about 75. Actually, I would average. Well, according to this survey. And yeah, the, that's what I would say. About all these a bazillion people. That's when you start getting unhappy is at 75K. Well, let really? me find out. I feel like out. it's because you want you know? more and you want more and you yeah. want more. When but you make more, you want more. That's right. Work harder, yeah. work harder, you work harder, harder you yeah. want more. That's what, you know. And that's, that's life. That's yes. why people work harder. Yeah. Right. Sure. That's the goal. Mm-hmm. Right? For some, yeah. Okay. So Amanda's 150. Gordo's 100. <laughs> I'm going 100, yeah. Pat just wants to. 75. Fine. Keep doing. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jesse's $1.5 billion. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> No, I mean, don't just to be uh, comfortable. We're doing a yearly thing. Yeah, sure. Comfortable. In a way, to live in a way that I deserve. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And don't. Yeah. Uh, you know, 20. 20,000 <laughs> million. <laughs> well, million. The taxes are below million. poverty, well, then. Yeah. So you're and then fine. you start, once you, once you start making first. more money, now you're paying more taxes. You're thinking yeah. about that. You start making, you start hitting that 150, you're at 30% tax bracket pretty Ooh. much right there. So, See, I forget about all those yeah, things. And then once you get that point, you're like, no, I've worked harder. 